We begin with new information about child porn charges against a longtime teacher. It is a story we broke first on WDTN.com. A former Wright State professor in trouble with federal officials tonight. Here's Megan O'Rourke. I've been working this story for 10 months ever since James Uphoff's Oakwood neighbors reported that investigators searched his home and removed boxes of possible evidence. At the time, no one wanted to talk about the case, but we stayed on top of it, and today the U.S. Attorney's Office filed this charge in federal court. James Uphoff has gone from the classroom to the courtroom. This afternoon, the U.S. Attorney's Office filed one count of possession of child pornography against the retired Wright State professor and longtime Oakwood School Board member. A spokesman for the U.S. Attorney's Office tells me the charge stems from an FBI search warrant executed at Uphoff's Oakwood home last September. I went to Uphoff's home today, but no one would come to the door. Uphoff has not been arrested, but is expected to make his first court appearance on the charge sometime in the next two weeks. Officials tell me if he's found guilty, he could be sentenced to up to 10 years in federal prison. It makes me very leery of the school systems that my kids are going to, and if I should pull them out or look at other systems and what's really going on. This afternoon, news of the charge against the well known former educator was spreading through Orchardly Park in Oakwood, and parents like Alan Wright say it's raising big concerns. Having kids in this area, it makes me wonder if my kids are safe and maybe we should, you know, I don't know if we should screen our officials more that we hire on or what happens, but I know that we're not exempt from any of this anymore. Now a phone conference between the judge, a federal prosecutor, and Uphoff's lawyer was scheduled for this afternoon, but canceled at the last minute due to what I'm told was a clerical error. We're going to stay on top of this developing story and bring you more information as soon as we learn it. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you. And we dug a little deeper into Uphoff's history as an educator. He retired from the Oakwood School Board in 2007 after serving more than 18 years. And according to officials at Wright State, Uphoff worked for the university for more than 40 years before retiring last June. He was one of the first professors the school ever hired. 